It is Wednesday the 3rd of July 2019. We're on our far side plot, uh, down at what is the bottom end of it, uh, where a few months ago, a few weeks ago, we created a paddock, uh, really just a sort of holding pen for the goats, mainly the billies, for when they're getting a little bit too randy because the, uh, the nannies are in heat. Uh, so uh, we've created this paddock, uh, but of course we haven't used it yet. So it is rather overgrown. So we brought along three of the pa the, the billies this morning uh, and put them in here. And their job is to clear this site. Of course, it's a packed full of all our favourites. So we've got nettles, we've got comfrey, we've got dock. Lots and lots to keep them going. So we'll see what this is like by the end of today, but I reckon two or three days it'll take them to get through all of this. Actually, I was wrong when I said it was uh, three billies are brought over. It's two billies and one of the nannies, and it's uh, coal that we brought through. Well, having a good go at that. As you can see, we've put the two kids back on to the plot next to our allotment. And uh, as you can see, they're chomping their way through this land clearance scheme. I've popped down to what we call the, the mill plot on the edge of the windy site. It's where the uh, gooseberries are, and I've been picking a whole load uh, now because uh, we need more preserves to be able to sell at the three fairs that we've got coming up. So I reckon there's about uh, two and a half to three kilos of gooseberries there. So most of that will go to make ordinary uh, gooseberry jam, Not, nothing added other than sugar. Uh, but if there's any left over, we'll use it to make gooseberry ketchup. On Saturday the 29th of June, I collected a swarm from the Winnies, which we think had come from one of our hives, and at the time I wasn't convinced that it was going to stay in the hive, and as you can see now, it is very busy, very active, so clearly they have definitely made this their home. So didn't need to worry about that one after all but that one which was uh, into which I put a swarm on Friday night not a single bee left it's all gone they obviously didn't want to stay there so they've uh, packed up and gone elsewhere and quite where they've gone is uh, uh, something I have no answer to it's about 4.30 in the afternoon now and I've come back to check on the goats and the far side plot and uh, they are looking incredibly well fed. I think if coal eats anything more, she'll explode, as will Perky there. Uh, a little less on the overly filled side is Snow, but uh, he's still looking as though he's had a good feast. Nevertheless, there's uh, still lots for them to clear, but they've actually eaten a path through along the edge of the allotment here, uh, right along the side of the fence. And they've also, swing it around, cleared a bit of the area around here at the bottom, uh, which is where they were lying down earlier, in fact, where Perky is lying down now. So they seem to be enjoying themselves. But the weather forecast today is, or tonight, is um, no rain, so it's going to be dry. So I'm thinking of leaving the three of them in here, just so can, they can chomp their way through all of this stuff. Uh, we don't need to get the flies off there. Uh, we don't need to um, give them any shelter. Um, if it was going to rain, then I think we would have just moved them back to the uh, near side allotment. But uh, 
we'll leave them in here. It saves me having to go out and get feed for them, although I will have to uh, for the others. But uh, yeah, they seem to be having a great time here.